Africa. In the words of the late great Bankroll Fresh, let's switch it up. On this episode of Film Room Shorts, I'm gonna review one of my favorite episodes of Tales from the Crypt. The name of this episode is called Fitting Punishment, and this is from season two of Tales from the Crypt. This episode starts in a funeral home in the South. Where in the South? I don't fucking know, but I just know the South gonna hold it down, motherfucker. The South gonna hold it down. The South gonna hold it down. Get out of here, boy. Party's over. Party? The viewing, you idiot. They've all gone on to the funeral. Are you blind? I'm not here for no funeral. Don't you remember me? Thank the merciful Lord, no. I'm Bobby, your nephew. Your sister Ruby's kid. Who? My sister Ruby. Well, you can tell that no good sister. She's of dead, Uncle Edward. Ezra, the funeral home, finds out that he has to take care of his nephew, Bobby, after he finds out his sister, Ruby, dies in a car accident. God helps the mourners. This lady's supposed to be blessed. dead, but she's moving like shit in this casket. Also helps those that help themselves. Ezra puts Bobby to work in the funeral home. While learning how to embalm a body, Bobby finds out that his uncle is a cheap piece of shit that takes shortcuts on everything. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to use chemicals or something? He's dead, you damn fool. He doesn't know the difference. Besides, those chemicals cost money. Like it says in the Bible. Penny saved, penny earned. Uh, didn't Ben Franklin say that? Don't you contradict me, boy! What's all this Chinese writing in the box? Made in Taiwan, you dummy. God Every damn you, old ass, made. bitch ass nigga. They're six inches shorter, you know. The Taiwanese are smaller people. And I can use the coffins for most folks. Nobody knows the difference. And I charge full price. You wanted to see me, Uncle Ezra? No, but I have no choice. Go measure the Jeffrey's body so I can audience casket. Yes, sir. Oak. During the funeral home of a kid, Ezra makes a mistake and tells Bobby to order the wrong type of coffin. last two days have been rather trying. Yes, I can imagine. You and your family have my condolences, Mr. Jeffries. But don't worry. I've taken care of everything. Here we are. The perfect vessel to send your son on his way to the realm of glory. Is there something wrong? This casket is made of pine. That's right. Highest quality of pine from the forest of Maine. But I specifically asked for oak. Oh, that's right. But I've already paid. I want nothing but the best for my son, Mr. Thorne. Instead of admitting he was wrong, this bitch ass old ass nigga takes his pain out on Bobby. You know what this is gonna cost me? You got any idea? 
Now I'm going to have to pay for that damn pine coffin. But, Uncle, I, I told you Oak. Don't you lie to me, boy. I'm not lying, Uncle. I swear to God, I told Don't you, you Oak. Don't you dare use the Lord's name in vain. Now you're going to have to be punished. Oh, yeah. Now, Uncle, please put this... Ah. Oh. While hitting Bobby with a fucking crowbar, he paralyzes him. The hell with your name. Get up here. No good. This bitch ass nigga Ezra is something else. Your nephew has suffered a severe spinal injury, Mr. Thorntonberry. He'll never walk again. How on earth did that happen? His own characters, I'm afraid. He fell down the stairs. If I've told him once, I've told him a thousand times. No running inside. He's a spirited boy, you know. An athlete. Not anymore. He'll put me in a poor house yet. Uncle Ezra? What you want, boy? Ezra! Don't you Ezra me. Where are my Air Jordans? I sold. You sold them? Got a pretty good price for them, too. Nigga sold his shit on stock eggs. How could you sell my shoes? Don't you raise your voice at me, boy. Look at you. You're nothing but a helpless cripple. What are you gonna do with shoes? All you're gonna do is cost me money. You're nothing but a goddamn bird. Well, well, you, well, you should have thought about that before you hit me with that crowbar. I, I ought to call the sheriff. That's what I'm gonna do. Since Bobby is putting Ezra in the poorhouse due to his medical bills from being paralyzed, Ezra comes up with a plan to put a stop to the medical bills. Man, this old nigga a hoe. Hello, Bobby. Uh, hi, Uncle. Oh, what are you doing with my ball? Surprise, motherfucker! He kills his nephew. Not only does he kill his nephew, he embalms him and puts him in a tiny coffin that Bobby ordered by mistake. Silent repose, just the way I want you. Hmm. 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 Damn, you're a nuisance even when you're dead. I'm sure they're not going to order another coffin. While at Bobby's funeral, 
the doctor is on the Ezra's bullshit. Strange how he should happen to fall down the stairs again, isn't it, Mr. Thorntonberry? Well, perhaps it's for the best. The boy was young and full of vigor. He would have made a miserable cripple. Such a short coffin for a boy so tall. All right, I know he's a funeral home owner and whatnot, but like, I'm pretty sure you can't just like kill niggas and just embalm them and that's okay. Like, don't the city gotta get involved? Like, don't like, it gotta be like a, a official coroner's report maybe? Like, doesn't he need like an autopsy or something? I know it's the fucking south, it's like, this city looks poor as fuck. But like, come on dog. This is bullshit. Like, he just killed that nigga and just bombed him immediately. Whatever. Later that night, while Ezra is asleep, he's awakened by the spirits of Bobby. It's time to die, old nigga. Who could that be at this ungodly hour? The ghost of Bobby comes to roll this old ass nigga up into an op pack. Five the backwoods. <laughs> 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 R.I.P. Bozo. That's what you get, old bitch. And that's the conclusion of this episode of Tales from the Crypt. But before we go, man, check out my nigga Crypt Keeper, bro. Nigga got the fit off, bro. He got the bread fours, my nigga. The Mars Blackman fours. My nigga fresh, man. But anyway, man, this has been another episode of Film Room, man. I'm going to start doing these Tales from the Crypt episodes. I'm going to do a top 10 episode of Tales from the Crypt, like my favorite 10 episodes of Tales from the Crypt. But I'm going to keep these going, man. I love Tales from the Crypt. I might do um, Twilight Zone, some of those episodes. But mostly Tales from the Crypt because I just fucking love this show. So I'm going to get some of those done. But we're still going to do the movies also. Keep, keep everything as normal. But... If you want these film room short episodes early, man, you know what to do, man. Sign up to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast to get all kind of exclusive contents. Check out our podcast, Random Makes a Podcast. You get that early also. Just sign up, man. You get all kind of shit, man. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. Support a real nigga, man. We're trying to get out the hood, man. Support a nigga, man. With all that said, I'm out. <laughs>